Hello, it's Time Motel here, answering another question for this mod pack. And possibly for others, where the cow in a jar block exists. So, the only way you can extract the milk from this, and it will constantly and infinitely create milk, is to use a bucket. Which means if you want to automate the extraction of milk, you'd want to use something like a mechanical user, activating block with item on right click. So in this way, when it gets to a bucket full of milk, if you give it an empty bucket, it will use the bucket on the jar, extract the milk. You would then, if you wanted to cycle that, you would want to extract the milk. So here you'd probably want to put a filter with milk in the filter. So it only took the milk out instead of to keep taking the empty buckets and move it into a chest or something like that. If you wanted to take this one step further, for example, normally you wouldn't just keep the milk buckets, you'd want to use the milk on something. To make, for example, a slime generator, you would set up two mechanical users next to each other. So I've actually compacted this as well by using the flat transfer nodes instead of the, the bigger ones. So the same setup, one mechanical user with an empty bucket, activate block, right click, facing the cow in a jar. A second one, Activate block, right click, same setup, facing, for example, a stone barrel that's being filled with water. On the first filter, as always, would be milk. And on the second filter, so after using the bucket, we want to put it back in so that it can take the milk out again. So the second filter, empty buckets. So this one will collect the milk, it will transfer it when it's on, only when it's milk. It will then transfer it back after it's used the milk. So if I give you an example of that, if I just use my milk on here, so now it has enough milk, it will use the bucket, give the bucket, activate the milk on the water, and that will create a slime block. Something that I'm going to be doing in my Let's Play is actually using that to automate a slimy generator. Sometimes you need the bucket of milk, and sometimes you need to create the slime. So here I've got a setup where it does both. It will create the slime based on the milk jar. It will also grab a second one to grab the bucket and both will be fed into a slimy generator so that it can power whatever you want it to power. I hope that was useful. Take care. Bye bye.